Hi everyone, welcome to Blue Lotus Gardens. If you're new here, my name is Blue Phoenix. I make fun planty videos and then also share with you all a fun plant vlog on Wednesdays sharing a little bit of my daily life and then also uh, what I do at my plant shop with shipping, uh, packing orders, um, caring for the plants, um, all of the above. Um, you are also more than welcome to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at bluelotus.gardens where we post a lot of updates, flash sales, um, a lot of information about our um, home-based plant shop and subscribe to our email list on bluelotuslife.com. I share with you all a discount code for your first order and then also send out newsletters on Thursdays of um, new additions to our plant shop, um, any store policies that we're changing, um, anything that is going on with the plant shop, we address it and inform you all about what's going on. If there, So that way you are all in the loop of what is going on in my plant shop. If that is something that you like, uh, go ahead and subscribe and let me know in the comment down below how you like my videos and that way I know how to make better videos for you all. Uh, let's get into the video because I have done this intro like 5 billion times. Alright everyone, this is um, all my begonia propagations that I've been doing. Some of them are mother plants, some of them are um, more plants that I've been making. Um, so first and foremost, I want to introduce to you all my vermiculite propagations. I've recently been um, experimenting with vermiculite because it retains its um, uh, moisture and water so that way I don't have to keep watering. Um, I like to keep everything very easy going since I am running a plant shop and I have a lot of things to do. Um, even with just like small inventory that I have, there is still a lot to do because I want to keep my plants um, looking good um, always. So this is how um, a one month and maybe a couple weeks has looked into um, this propagation. Here are my Begonia Maculata uh, propagations. As you, this is a uh, one month uh, propagation. And as you see, there is a growth point emerging from the bottom. Um, there are growth points coming in the middle. And then uh, this is its original leaf. Your original leaves are going to look a little tattered and that's really fine. It's going to happen. Um, you just kind of have to like not really like worry too much and just understand that there's new growth coming and that energy is going all to the new, new growth. Here are um, unknown begonia species. <laughs> Uh, this, these are like one of my favorite begonias. They're rhizomatous. Um, so, but they've, uh, and then this is the propagation of it. The way I've kept it, um, the way I've kept it thriving is by keeping it in, um, 60 to like 80% humidity and then keeping that moisture up and, um, the soil moist, so bottom watering is always great uh, to do. Here is a um, here is my begonia taco night. Um, I bought this from a friend. Uh, no, actually, I did. I did a. Uh, I did a trade of Mikan's uh, for this one, and so I'm super excited because it uh, has this really nice uh, foliage. So I'm super excited for that. Um, here is a propagation of my begonia fedora. So this is a month update for the Begonia Fedora, as you see here, all the new growth from it. Eventually I'll introduce some of these Begonias over to my shop, um, so stay, uh, keep, a, keep a good little lookout. <laughs> 
I like to kind of like have them more fully grown and um, larger so that way you all can enjoy them and make propagations of your own if that's what you like to do. Here is my begonia griffin. Here is, um, as you see here, it's pretty uh, leggy. So what I've been trying to do is allow it to produce some foliage, some nice big healthy foliage for it. And then I'll chop it down to about when it gets to the, this, this large right here. And then that way um, they'll end up just like regrowing themselves. And then I have already like a couple propagations from that. So I'm just kind of like restarting the plant as um, as I call it. <sighs> Here is one of the Begonia Fedora um, water roots. There you go. I think these are just like super pretty and I love making more propagations of them. Here is the mother plant. So there's still more propagations to be made from this. Um, I'm trying to like get more like this one, this one, and then this one to grow more and then I'll make uh, three more propagations from them. I like to get them to where they're like really big to where I can, uh, I know that their leaf size will produce a nice good amount of energy for them to root faster. These are my like, my begonia lindodon propagations. My recommendation, sorry, it's a little dirty. My recommendation for y'all um, is to keep a tray like this. Um, I found this in Target, a drawer organizer, like a small drawer organizer. And I put it, I put all my little propagations in here and I just bottom water them because whenever you have, um, smaller propagations and smaller sizes they're going to need a lot more watering and you kind of just want to like fluctuate with it so uh bottom watering is always great and that way you don't have to worry so much i rescued it from lowe's and as you see here it has a whole bunch of like new growth at lowe's like it was just barely hanging on to its dear life like it was like literally screaming to everybody someone take me home or i am going to die in this place that they call a plant shop. <laughs> shade, throwing shade, why not? Um, it is what it is. Um, and that's what, um, that's what it is now. It was a little bit larger, but I took about one, two, three propagations from it. Um, as you see here, this one was a little bit too uh, crispy because it started touching the, the, the soil and the water. So it started to uh, root off, uh, to, to die off. So, but I'm not gonna like just chop it off because it's still taking energy to the plant. So I'm just going to let it be there until it all turns crispy and you can just like cut it off from there. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I'll have part two of my begonia updates on Thursday. Um, I really appreciate you all supporting my channel. I really am thankful for you all supporting my small business and um, visiting our plant shop. Um, you're always more than free to comment, uh, leave a message on our email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, you have a wonderful day. You all are amazing. Peace everyone. Bye.